Hello, so let's try to make a simple flash light, okay? Like this, all I have the, the object and the light. The only one we need is those two, alright? So let's begin. Okay, so here we are with the power of the default cube. First, well, let's just say we're gonna start all from the beginning. We're gonna delete everything. Okay, so we press A and press delete, so we delete everything, okay? But first, I'm gonna bring this one first, and there we go. So now, first we're gonna make is is the flashlight, okay? So that's gonna be very easy. We're just gonna need circle, okay? Use the circle mesh, or you can use the cylinder as well. It's a, it, it's fine, too, but if you wanna make your own, I mean your own shape, then just use the circle. So here we are, I'm going to extrude this one, uh, I think I'm going to use precision movement. So I'm going to turn the snap tool on, like that, like this, extrude that again, scale, right there, doesn't matter long or short, up to you. Okay, that's kind of normal shape there. So I'm going to fill this thing, there we go, and press Ctrl B to turn it like that, to make that area below round, just like that, okay? Now, for this one, I'm going to select that one, the top here, extrude scale, press E and S to go something like this, okay, now I'm going to move it down. So I'm gonna, oh, okay, what did I press? Select that, E to the Z. Oh yeah, I think I know what's wrong, so I'm gonna undo it and remake it like this. So I'm gonna turn this off now, because I don't need to use that now. I'm done with that. Uh, e to E and S, press E and S to extrude and scale. All right, click anywhere to confirm. Extrude, to the, extrude E to the Z, bring it down. How down you want, completely up to you. And I'm just gonna scale that. There you go. And press F to fill. If you want to make it smaller like that, color, it's also up to you. I'm just gonna make it like that. Press F to fill. And clearly, maybe that's kind of the only thing that we need. And now for the glass, I just press F to fill. Like that. See? Our basic flashlight is done, even without the switch. <laughs> We're not gonna make the switch, but if you want to make a switch, just go like this, put the switch, rotate it 90 degree. There we go. No need to go hard on this, it's gonna be small scale. It's gonna be act as a switch, just like that. Yeah, I think I think that's oh, it's one together, so yeah. Okay, that will do so. Since we cannot click this one because we make it, I mean, both at the same mesh as well, so I'm gonna separate this by press A, uh, press B by loose part, and you got this back, okay? So let's go back to here. Now we're gonna go to shade. Alright, for the mostly, it's a black color, but the flashlight. Uh, roughness over there. I think I'm gonna turn this into metal. There you go. Roughness, not too much, even though it's metal. There we go. And this one, the where the glass are, we we'll go to here. New sign. Okay, so that's a separate color now. So for that one, I'm just gonna. Reduce the alpha like that. I think that works. Okay. So, I guess there's a roughness there, but I'm gonna reduce the alpha. There we go. So, what it means by the alpha is make this thing. If it's that one, it's actually invisible. If it's a little bit, it actually just has a little bit of, well, you can see a little bit. Just make it something 
transparent like that oh yes transparent pretty alpha all right now we actually kind of done this and oh that that's the last one that one all right this is just gonna basic straight red okay there we go that's my old switch over there now we're done with the flashlight now we're gonna add light go to here okay now add a light what light you want up to you but I just gonna use the best way to use this is actually use the spotlight okay that's X uh, 180 degree there we go okay let's turn this on not now so I'm gonna bring this down over here okay and scale to the Z a little bit way too short but that's kind of okay as well bring it over there uh, for the light I think I'm gonna choose 5000 5000 watts radius so we can use the radius as well like that okay that kind of looks okay so let's see in cycles there you go look at that it's kind of good mm, I think for the inside here I'm gonna make it like a uh, something like gloss so let's do that oh turn this off first the the x-ray mode so this one oh don't worry I I just can zoom like that oh doesn't work or I can just use my feeling there you go no not that one face select face select there you go that's what I want so for this one I'm gonna go to here back to the shading that on new and hit the sign I hit the sign way all right so for this one we're gonna use the gloss where is that the shader gonna go with gloss okay that will do for the roughness I'm gonna make it shiny more shiny so let's see now well kind of works well if I don't use that still looking as well first let me see let's check if I go way, way crazy about that it's gonna show that huge yeah, but I think just a little bit would do rotation there's no need rotation for that okay that's like that and our flashlight maybe done let's bring this up a little bit oh not that one the x-ray x-ray not in available in create mode yeah i can agree with that hmm I think I'm gonna go to EV. Uh, let's adjust, adjust just a little bit here. Spot size 45 degree. Mm. It's way too small. I want it big. Way too big. But not too big. Just too big. So you can feel everything over there. For the blend. For the shadow, but I don't think I need that where's that spotlight there we go let's try to bring it down okay I think there's one thing we need to do we need to turn that one at the bottom over there the same way now let's do that I think that's what we forgot Okay, go back to where is it? Turn that off. Go to here. 
Oh, and I've sent it out. I need that then. So edit mode, and edit mode, select the object, edit mode. That one, I'm gonna assign that thing, shading, um, to, I think it's this one. Oh, it is. Okay, so I've selected the blow over there, and let's see what happened. If I apply, I mean assigned it. There you go, problem solved. And we actually done with the this thing. There you go. And now, let's just say I want the project, but I, but you actually want this, this light, this one here, the spotlight to move. As you move this one, it follows. So to do that, uh, same for the button as well. I'm just gonna go select this one. I mean, just select everything, all of thing here, all the trees. And make sure this orange over here, make sure it's this one, okay? The flashlight, not this one, and not this one, okay? Now I'm going to press Ctrl P, and I'm going to set parent to keep object transform, okay? As you move, it follows, like that, see? I move, it follows. Now, let's see this. Oh, let's rotate this thing. Go to here. Now, let's test it a little bit scale whoa look at that how it works like that way so I move see it moves get a little bit bigger so, so much for flashlight and light up that big now if I select this one let's adjust something that blend I, do you like that sharpness like that mm, I don't me I don't think so maybe a little bit more blend to give it a little bit uh a little bit softness like that see that's how guys we're done here oh i'm gonna turn this on now denoise for better result turn this off and there you go guys let me move this around i mean i press sever i press up view and i move there you go rotate there you go all right guys so oh, okay so that's how to make a simple basic flashlight okay you can do anything you want get creative and do it on your i mean your own version you can do anything you want right so that's all for today thank you for watching see you next time